Welcome to the System Simplified Podcast, where we feature top leaders who share stories on how to successfully systemize a business. Now, let's get started with the show. Hello, Adik Levitt here with the System Simplified Podcast, where we interview top entrepreneurs, founders, and thought leaders about systematizing a business. And this podcast is being brought to you by Business Success Consulting Group. At Business Success Consulting Group, we create custom processes and tailor-made business systems so businesses can thrive and grow. And today's guest is John Busick. Hi, John. Hey, how are you? Good. Great to have you on the podcast. So happy to be here. Thanks for having me. You are very welcome. And the reason you are here on this podcast is because you are obsessed with systems, workflows, organization, etc. And you created an amazing app for contractors that actually does that, organizes the workflow, helps with the systems, etc. And we're going to dive into that, which is very exciting. And But I want to start with your background. You know, you are a painter, basically owning a painting company, third generation. You had to implement systems and workflows in your own business. And in the process of doing that, you actually created your app that then just took off like crazy. And now it's all over the world. It's international. So I love to hear that story. So why don't you start us with telling that story of how you got started with the app and where is it today? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, So, yeah, so I am a third generation painting contractor, um, born and raised in the field, just like um, many of the listeners out there. And I came into this to the business, a uh, very paper driven business, literally three by five cards in a in a file in a folder. And <laughs> I quickly realized for us to scale our business, we needed some technology. Um, so I started picking and choosing different applications to run our business, started to come up with some standard operating procedures. Um, but I quickly found myself logging into like eight different applications to run my business that weren't talking to each other. So I'm from there, I, I partnered up with a, a technical consultant and we put some ca- ap- applications together and I was now running like my mini, my own mini system. A um, couple weeks later I, I go, or a couple months later, I go to a national convention and lo and behold, a couple other business owners were like, hey, what is that? I'd like to get my hands on that. So I showed them what it is and I called my partner. I said, hey, I, I think we got something here. People are really interested in what we have. So fast forward to today and now we have thousands of users across the world, what is known as work glue. Incredible. So first of all, if the listeners are very curious right now, they want to check it out. So it's what's the website to check it out? Workglue.com. That's just like it sounds. W-O-R-K-G-L-U-E.com. Good, because it glues all the systems and the workflows together. So that's that's very exciting. So workglue.com. Well, John, let's dive into systems and what this um what the app actually do. I one of my clients is using it, and it's actually I would like to give him a a shout out. His name is Chris Martin, and he's the owner of Mount Hood Pro Painting. And he's the one who introduced me to you because we were looking for an app that will actually take the systematization of his business to the next level, right? I mean, that's how basically he found you because I've been working with him for several years, putting in systems, putting in SOPs, and now he's he grown his business, starting a new one, and I mean, another in another state, and We go, okay, we need to expand faster, but in order to do that, we need to automate, we need to use technology. And then he found Workglue and he started working with you and I got a demo of it, a demonstration. I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I'll tell you why, because I have a lot of experience working with a lot of contractors, but your app is amazing because it actually handles all aspects of the flow line from beginning to end. And every feature that I thought, oh, I wish it had that feature. It was there. So it's like, wow, this is really impressive. You really, it's, it shows that it was actually made by a contractor for contractors, right? Yeah. And, you know, there are several applications that are on the market that are all 
all fine and dandy. Um, the problem that I found in my own experience was they had so many bells and whistles that it was, I almost had to hire a full-time consultant just to explain the application itself with all the features and then pair my business to it versus coming up with my own set of standard operating procedures that work with my own workflow, the way I want to run my business and then pair it to the software. So we built Workloo with that in mind. Um, essentially, you come up with your own SOP, someone like yourself, a true pro that helps that process um, is ideal. And then once you come over to Workflow, you kind of are able to maneuver the software around very easily without using a consultant. Uh, we have definitely help uh, on our side to help you kind of get up and running. Um, but we don't have all these minutiae, you don't get lost in a lot of the bells and whistles that sometimes bog you down and you just say, forget it, I'm going back to pen and paper. Um, so we've made it simple enough for if, trust me, if I can figure it out, I'm the contractor from the field, anyone can figure it out. So absolutely. So let's, let's talk about the main workflows that exist in a construction company or a specialized contractor like painting. I know you also work with electric, HVAC specifically for new construction. You know, I think this one will work great for roofers as well. You know, plumbers can use it. If you have a, it's more maybe not the service ones that have to go like, you know, that have all those tickets in a day, multiple tickets in a day for service, but it definitely works great for bigger projects, long-term projects, projects that take several days, projects that you actually schedule, that you need an estimate. That's uh, what I really like about the software. So let's talk about the system, uh, basically the workflow of a good company. So it starts with obviously you need to have the sales funnel, starting with the sales funnels, right? We, so you have leads. Yeah, you basically strip down a mini CRM, and a lot of people know what those CRM features are. Um, we we took the nuts and bolts from any CRM CRM system customer relations management system that stands for, if you're not familiar. Um, and so we have the sales system where you're tracking your leads um, and then your sales process when you've made contact, when you deliver the proposal, so on and so forth. So let's, let's then, outline that because I want our listeners hmm. to also benefit from like, what should be the systems in my business, right? What are the successful workflows and flow lines of a successful painting company or successful contracting company or any business for that matter, right? So we start with a sales funnel and like in the, in your in work glue, you enter it. So you enter it as a lead, right? I mean, it enters in lead and it allows you to actually enter in all the important information for that lead, right? Yeah, you want to capture the main people that are or the main constituents involved. If there's a general contract you're working with, if there's a homeowner or whoever the end user and buyer is, um, all their detail, all their contact information. And then at the same time, you want to capture the value of the project, the scope of work, um, where you got your, your marketing dollars are coming, where that lead came in. Um, we give you all those features. And also assign it, assign it to the correct um, estimator, which can also be, so it's good to track because then you can generate multiple reports, right? Correct. So it's basically, you have the lead capture, then the lead, it, it stays as a lead until you actually close the job. But when it's a lead, now the next uh, step will be to now schedule the estimate, the walkthrough, whatever, whatever language you use as a contractor, right? Yeah. So you have that, that's the next step. And then you have a calendar view where you can actually see all your leads scheduled there, all the bids scheduled. What's the next step after we already we schedule the estimate? What do you do next? So now you're going to generate a proposal um, and then you send the proposal to the, the customer. Um, all those line items to sync over. If you do use QuickBooks Online, we sync with QuickBooks Online. Um, so all your line items with the click of a button would pull over to Workloo when you get set up. And that's how you would generate your proposal from within Workloo. And then if you land the deal with a click of a button, it pushes it back over to QuickBooks Online as an, as an estimate in QuickBooks. So you can, with um, over in QuickBooks land, you can easily convert that over to an invoice. That's right. And then it also changes. So you have 
different stages of the sales pipeline, right? Or the sales process. And that's what we were talking about, having a system defined and then adjust the app to the system because you can actually change the names however you use it in your company. So let's say you have a lead, turns into an opportunity, turns into a bid, turns into an estimate or turns into a closed job. You can actually name those stages in the app and then you let you tag them as you go along the pipeline and that way you can generate re- a report to see at every given moment where your leads are sitting at what stage which is extremely important correct correct yeah we allow you to customize those different stages however whatever language you want to use and and call those different stages but they essentially you you explained it quite well good so john what's the importance let's look at higher level not just necessarily just the app right but what is the importance as a contractor to actually know where your leads are at at every single stage? Well, you need to know how much how much I need to close what's out there, right? I've I've estimated X amount of dollars. I typically you start generating, you get better and better every year of how much do I typically close on an annual on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, whatever the case may be, what type of job I'm bidding. Um, you start breaking out all these different categories and data pieces that you can really start defining and and going after. And it helps your marketing and it helps uh, better better identifying all of your needs and wants within your own business. Right. I would also say that it allows you that to make sure that things don't fall through the cracks, you know, so you basically have the idea to, um, you have the ability to control what you have out there. And it gives you control, more control over your business. Because after all, you know, knowledge is power. You know, now you know, and it helps you to be organized. And that's what working with many contractors, that's where I see they they fall in terms of like they get very busy. And then you have the phone ringing, but you can't service every, or you think you can't service everyone, or you think you can't get to the phone. So by having a system like that, it you can see where things are at. You can see where the leads are at. Correct. And the, the benefit of workflow is you don't get bogged down in entering data. Um, once you put it in, it, it's in there um, and you don't have to enter it in multiple different areas and multiple different times. You just, with, with a simple click, you move things along. So um, a lot of people get hung up on, I'm too busy to be lost in the weeds of entering data that um, it's actually quite easy in workflow. It is. And, you know, the truth is, and let me know if it's also true for your company. I mean, your company has more than 30 employees. You know, you're a successful contractor. At some point, and the owner should never, I mean, the the main, even the general manager should not enter the data. You should have a dispatcher or you should have a customer service person, right? Correct. And even if you are smaller, there are virtual receptionists that can actually do the lead intake. And by using something like an app, It's very easy to do that because you just follow the fields and you get that information. You pre-qualify, you do some kind of a qualification on the lead, and then you move it through to either the estimator or maybe an internal customer service if you're using a virtual receptionist. So you actually have um, somebody entering in where it doesn't, the owner or the general manager or even the service manager doesn't have to be bogged down with those details. So, you know, that's a, actually a good point to ask you the question was like, what, so Workloo, is it, what size companies does it work best? Or have you seen a good size or does it have, is it flexible? Uh, great question. It's completely flexible. We have users that have one to three employees all the way up to 500 employees. So it kind of scales as you want to scale. Um <clears throat> It has different levels, meaning you can get different viewpoints. Um, if you have a company of 500 people, there's multiple divisions and levels at that point to where certain people need certain access to certain information. And you can set those levels pretty easily. That's great. So basically, after we have done, we talked about the sales process. So let's say the bid or the estimate closes. So then you basically tag it or you make sure that it now becomes a work order, right? So then it has, it basically helps you manage the entire workflow from beginning to end. Once you close a bid, 
meaning like you get in the bid, you want it, and now you are the job is yours. Then walk me through the flow from that point of like the customer signed and said yes through all the way to completing the job. Yeah, that's the real nuts and bolts of what Workloo does. Um, heavily project management based. Um, so once you get the signed proposal, it becomes a project or a job. And from there, you start scheduling employees or subcontractors from within the app. Um, and we do have a mobile app that communicates to the field as well. Um, and that's easily downloadable, both Android and, and um, Apple Play Store. Um, and <clears throat> um, where was I going with that? Oh, so yeah, the, the project management side of it is scheduling employees, subs, materials, um, tracking daily, so it's timekeeping in the app. You're tracking your your job costing from within the app, your material purchases of everything that goes along with that project. Um, that also syncs all with QuickBooks as well and into it payroll as well as uh, Gusto. Um, if you use that, and we also have the exports for CSV files for your own payroll system if you have different payroll systems. Um, and then from there, you're tracking the different statuses of, of different things happening. So if there's multiple tasks happening, you can create different tasks and assign those to different people that are different that are part of the project. You can create daily checklists, creating those standard operating procedures to make sure people follow the stand the SOP on a daily basis or whatever that is. So once you set those up, you can create these. Um, checklists that, so for example, what I mean by that is if let's say I'm going to your house to paint your house, I show up and I want my employees to introduce themselves, find out where the best place to park is, where should they put their supplies, um, which bathroom should they use, or should they put the porta potty up front? You get the point that I'm making them go through within the app a certain checklist that they are supposed to go through and write any notes that are associated to that. So that gets captured within the app. Um, from there, you're capturing all of the daily details as well as job progress and percentage of completion and all notes photos, videos, all attachments, all store within the project. And then from there, you have all of the information to send off to billing for when it's complete. Excellent. So it's basically allows to manage the entire workflow, including scheduling. The scheduling portion of it is really good as well, because once you want a job, then you can assign to specific employees. You can schedule it and you have different views of seeing the view from job schedules and also the schedule for the different employees. So it makes scheduling much easier. And because everyone on your crew, on your team has the ability to log in, they can see their own schedules and they can also, you can communicate with notes about a specific job. You can make sure that they actually get the scope of work and they know what it is. Um, you can upload photos, you know, you can do, and you can have those checklists. So that basically creates the entire workflow, makes it complete. Yeah, yeah, it makes it, um, everything is in one place. That's that's essentially what it is, is everyone has a home place to go with it's in the cloud, accessible from a, any internet access. And, um, and uh, it makes it just quite easy to run your operation, especially the best part about the mobile app that I've gotten feedback from, not only my employees, but people, the users throughout the throughout the country and world um, is that they can actually get on board with the app. A lot of guys out in the field and construction, especially, have have issues with technology and adopting it. Um, very easy, user friendly application. Uh, very simple to upload photos and communicate via via messaging. So uh, it's it's been a game changer for my company. Oh, for sure. So let's go back to, you know, we went over the app and you explained it, but let's look at the um, consequences and the gains that the, your company gained because you used technology, because you automated those things. So let's go back to the point in time when you were running your company, your painting company, and you did not have the app. So when was that, first of all? 
I was back pre-2012. Okay, pre-2012. How many employees did you have at a time? Uh, 14. 14. Okay, good. So, and then you implemented the app. I mean, you actually hired somebody to make the app for you, for your company. Because at that point, what were your biggest pain points that you said, okay, enough, I'm actually hiring somebody? Um, When I found myself not running my business anymore, I was running multiple technical applications, different apps for every bit and piece. So I had a a CRM, I had a timekeeping app, I had a project management app, I had all these different apps that I had data everywhere. (laughs) And I said, okay, I got to bring this together. So I, I ended up calling my a good friend of mine who works at LinkedIn kind of high up and said, this is what I'm looking for. So he found a guy that was actually 20 minutes from me. So it's perfect. Amazing. Amazing. That's good to have people in the right, <laughs> friends in the right places and also live in the Bay Area. I guess it helps. But <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, so, okay. So we, the pain point was basically that you were trying to work on the business, but you didn't have enough. Of, you had multiple apps that, or multiple applications or multiple software you had to use, which basically took, what was it that we, it took from you? Time, attention, ability to really understand the big picture. What was the main point here that you go, okay, enough, that's it? A time. Yeah, I needed my time back. I needed, I needed, I couldn't scale. I, I mean, I was just... I was all over the place. Things were falling through the cracks. Um, we weren't, I wasn't solving the problems I needed to solve that I thought I was. Good. What were those problems? Uh, those problems were making it easier. Um, I was supposed to simplify my process, not create more headaches. <laughs> so, right. so that's where I, I, I headed and that's why we created it. And um, So you created the, the app was, and start using it. Yeah, so we ahead. started using it. I, I quickly had adoption because now guys were able to figure out, hey, how many hours did I have for today? How many hours did I have for the payroll week? They can quickly look at it. They weren't losing their paper time cards anymore or texting. I wasn't texting my employees anymore. We were messaging on the job what we were talking about specific for that. So it never got lost and buried in text messages. Um, what's very interesting about this is that we were doing about 45% repeat referral business prior to adopting this. And since 2012, we are now 82% repeat and referral just because we're tracking our customers and our jobs so much better that we are, our customers are much happier because we're communicating better and referring us to more people. So it's this, been... And we, have to, we have to just really emphasize this. This is incredible because so far you touched on three points you know the point of timekeeping which is like payroll timekeeping which i know a lot of contractors is a pain for them and the office managers is you know chasing those time cards you know get, getting it in place you know just like reminding and making sure it's accurate so even if you use another app you have to download it into another one that's huge, just by itself, able to actually track the time for your employees. The second thing that you said is the communication. You open the communication lines. You're not just texting and missing text. And you are actually have one channel of communication that is very centralized. And that is huge because you can have that open back and forth communication, right? So those two are huge. But then you're talking about that improved customer satisfaction where you got your repeating ref, repeating customers and referrals from 45 to 88%. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. I mean well we've we because of that we've been able to double in size since simple, since implementing um so and we continue to scale from there. So <clears throat> right now we're limited on uh, like most contractors on on labor force to hire ability to hire but um but yeah it's been it's been a game changer. It's it's sure. pretty, my what's interesting about all this process has been on the software side as well. So not only have I been growing a painting business, I'm growing the software side. Of course, I have a co-founder and we have other staff on the software. I'm not the one who's going to be answering the calls and helping by any means, but um, we have staff that specialize in that. Um, 
Well, while growing the painting business, we were growing the software business simultaneously. And I've learned a lot from our existing customers and helping them grow their businesses and scale. And so the product has really evolved since we, we launched based on customer feedback, based on customer needs. And so we really listen to what guys are saying, guys and gals out in the field of, hey, what if we, what if we tried this? What if we had this feature? So that's where a lot of these feature have um, easily accessible features have been implemented or based on our customers. So it's been a really neat opportunity on both sides of the spectrum. That's incredible. That is such a great um, product from both sides, right? From, for your company and to help others as well, which is fantastic. You know, John, you mentioned the word scaling, and that's a word that is being thrown out there a lot, right? And you said, okay, we managed to scale my, the business. What does it mean for you to scale the business? Like, how, does it, how did it manifest itself? Um, I wanted, to, number one, I wanted more revenue. I, I wanted, or I should say profit. Um, I wanted more net profit at the end of the day um, from what we were hitting. And for us to do that, we had to, number one, improve our processes so we could take on more revenue. Um, and from there, I needed to improve our processes to where we were not only able to take on more revenue, but be profitable, profitable revenue. Um, and that was the whole point of why Workloo was born is how do I maximize my profit by operating at the peak of my, my potential? So that's where Workloo has helped. That's a great point because scaling is that the difference between scaling and growing is that when you're scaling, you do more, but you increase your profit, basically. It's like, you know, you don't just grow and grow and add more expenses, et cetera, but you're actually growing in a way that you are also increasing your profitability, right? You have... Well, you, that, the, the benefit of is you just know where you're at. Um, right. You know your numbers. You, you can... A lot of people want to, hey, do I want to grow 10% this year or 20%? Do I, and, and what profit percentage do I want? Well, you can make those decisions now because it's not an educated guess or, or a shot in the dark. You actually have those numbers and reports in front of you to say, okay, if I wanted to do go from five to million to eight million this next year in revenue, what do I need to do to get there? And those based on history and current data, you have that at your fingertips. I agree. And then in order to get there, you also have to have the time to execute as a visionary, right? As the person that is running the company and working on the company, you want to, first of all, be able to work on the business, but you also have to have the time to envision, to strategize and to execute a strategy. And that time you buy back by actually using something like the app because you can manage, you know, you instead of something that took you in the past to manage five hours, now you can manage it in 30 minutes, right? Because there is less of the back and forth. You have more satisfied customers. You don't have to spend time in callbacks or handling dissatisfied customers. And also from what you said, in terms of the marketing, those valuable marketing dollars, instead of spending it on constantly advertising call to call leads, you're actually getting warm leads for referrals and repeat customers. So you actually, that's how you can also increase your profitability and then invest that money in increasing this, in basically systematizing the business better. So then you are actually creating more profit. Yeah, exactly. So great. Okay. So how is life right now compared to, I mean 10 years ago so 10 years went by what how do you, when you reflect back on your life then and your life now what differences do you see <laughs> um i have a 12 year old and a 10 year old two boys um i'm able to coach now i have much more time um and still keep my finger on the pulse um obviously i'm running two businesses so i'm a busy guy but um it has allowed me to, to be a much better available business owner. Um, instead of being bogged down in the weeds, I now am able to delegate. 
I have systems and processes in place in my own painting company, as well as a software company to where I put other people on in the right seats to, to manage the business. And I, I mean, I'm involved, but um, I'm also allowed to step back. And I, I, my role is the visionary and, and helper in the business. Fantastic. So what's the vision for the future? Vision for the future is to keep both businesses moving forward. Well, okay. I'm sure you'll be able to do that. No problem. (laughs) And John, thank you for sharing your story. And thank you for helping the listeners to understand how to break down the processes in a construction company, in a painting company, and also in business in general. So if they want to get a hold of you, they can go to warglue.com. But if they have specific questions to you, what's the best way to get a hold of you? You can always email me, uh, john, J-O-H-N, at warglue.com. Excellent. John at warglue.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you again, John, for being a guest on this podcast. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the System Simplified Podcast. We'll see you again next time and be sure to click subscribe to get future episodes.